Hi again. Today I want to do a little bit more ball handling. We're going to do it in the form of a challenge, a time to challenge. I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to dribble seven times on one side, go behind my back, seven on the next, behind my back, six, five, uh, sorry, six, six, five, five, four, four. I'm going to go all the way down, and then ten behind the back, and then I'm going to work my way back up to seven. Okay, makes sense? So, here we go, no edits. Let's see. Okay. Ready, set, go. Try not to look at the ball. Okay, so that's good practice. Oh, I'm going to go with, we could do some math here, 50 seconds, <laughs> I think. So there's something you can try um, as a warm-up, or you can try it as a little time challenge, and uh, you know, let me know how you do. The other thing is, I know that's not a common skill necessarily, to, to dribble behind your back. So, for one thing, I'd say it could be, if more of us practice it. I know I have a bit of an advantage as a high pointer and having long arms, but I've seen lots of guys do it. The other thing is you can definitely adapt it if you want to challenge yourself or teammates. Go over the front instead. So one, two, because this power dribble, two, three, is a very valuable uh, skill as well. So, uh, or any other variation you can think of. So hope that helps and we'll see you next week.